Hello everyone, I know a lot of you have been asking this about me and for in this video we will be doing a Ponacochi and for all of you who doesn't know what a Ponacochi is, it is a Raspberry Pi based implementation of Buttercup and what it does is it scans surrounding Wi-Fi environment, find some crackable WPA and save it on a pickup file and it is presented in a very playful way like the 90s toy Tamagotchi so let's start now one of the main problem when you are starting out with a Ponagotchi is that you may check out I mean, at least all of the links still points toward this Ponagotchi that AI and in here all of the hardwares that are needed. If you go to installation and required hardware, this is still outdated. As you can see right now, it is still saying Raspberry Pi Zero W, and that is something that you cannot buy anymore at least when when i was looking it is now raspberry pi zero two w include um the battery here as you can see still ups light 1.1 and it's now 1.2 including this display so this display it's still b1 and b2 now the wave share e ink 2.7 is version 4 so what will happen is that if you go to the github page for the images that are being sent here those are only applicable to those hardware and as you can see this has been updated for like 2021 now fortunately for us there is someone that has forked this and made it possible with the modern hardware or the updated hardware of those things which is let's just think j of felony here oops there j of felony okay for giving us those and i guess it this was last released january 27 so this should work on those updated hardware Okay, so let's look at the parts that you will be needing. First is the Raspberry Pi 0W2 or 02W. Okay, now this is around $25. The next is the UPS Lite B point version 1.2. This is around $28 on Amazon. And as you can see, I stupidly cannot remove this screw from this one. But it's all okay. Um... The next one is the WaveShare e-paper hat. Don't worry. Um, this one is version 4. The firmware will be okay. This is around $22. And an SD card. Micro SD card. And this is around $5. If you have a very, very good soldering skills, unlike me, you can have this. What you got? This is a clock timer that you can solder on the pins. Okay, so this one, a timer, a real clock that you can solder on the pins here on the Raspberry Pi somewhere here. Okay, so unfortunately, I don't have a very good soldering skills. I tried it, I failed. And now I don't have it. Okay, so the next one is we will be assembling it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to align the pogo pins. Okay, so after we have aligned it, we can screw it. So... There you have it. Make sure just the pogo pins align. And I think they are okay. Now the next one that we need to put is this. The e-paper display from WaveShare. As you can see, I have removed it multiple times and I have 
stupidly bent some of the pins, but it should work still. Let's try to put it down, put it despite the bent pins that I have. Okay. Okay. There you have it. So this is the base of your Ponagotchi. Okay, so let's just go to the release page on the GitHub. Go down below and download the 64-bit image. And on the Raspberry Pi imager, Raspberry Pi Zero is your device. Use custom. Choose the image that you've downloaded. Okay. Then after that, on the mass storage, choose your SD card. Click next. Customization settings, no. And erase data, yes. And now we wait. Okay, so that's it. Let's go back to the device now that your SD card is ready. Okay, now that you have the SD card in it, it's time to configure it. Now, the way that you can configure it is you need to have a cable. Be sure that your cable has data. Now, the way that you can, you would know it has a data is if all four pins are there, okay? Have a high quality cable because sometimes that is the cause of all of your problems of it not connecting the second micro usb port is the one that is used for data the first one is for power so be sure to put your cable there okay so with that let's go to our computer and i'll show you how to configure it okay so after you plug it in First thing you need to do is go to the control panel and go to your network and internet, view network status, and you should be able to see an Ethernet there. So if you don't see that Ethernet, there is an RDNIS driver that you need to. So as you can see, this is the one, yeah, RDNIS gadget. So let's go to properties and let's go to TCP IP before turn it protocol and let's put our own IP address that we will be using to access it so I'll just choose 10 that 0 that 0 that 1 subnet mask 255255.0 and click OK. Okay, so what you need to do is to open up a PowerShell using the username pi ussh 2 d IP that you have configured and the password is Raspberry. Now, once you are inside, you can run a command called sudo configuration or sudo ponagotchi dash dash wizard and this will give you different types of questions usually these are things that you would manually put on a file inside your tamagotchi this one will create it for you based on the questions that you have so let's just speed this up Okay, so now that we have finished configuring it, you have dealt it what type of screen that you have, your Tamagotchi or your Ponagotchi should be showing something on your screen now. Okay, so in my in my Ponagotchi, as you can see, it already has a screen because I have configured it previously, but on your, what you call it, new Ponagotchi with a new screen, this should be black. And only after you have configured it is when you will see this screen because as you can see earlier on the configuration you have to tell it what type of screen do you have okay so let's put it on a case okay this is a case that I have 3d, 3D printed 
en qué? En... Okay. This side should be the USB port and the SD card. So that would be the side where we will be inserting it. Now, you have to be careful for this ribbon because this will hit this and it may damage the ribbon. Like this one, like what I've happened here. I tried to insert it and it damaged this ribbon here. So be careful, just press it down when you are inserting it. Make sure, yeah, that you will not damage it. Be careful because it's a really tight squeeze in it. I suggest removing the SD card first. Okay, so, yep, making sure the ribbon is not, okay, so that looks like a very nice fit, see, okay, maybe a little, okay, so maybe I need to put a little spacers there, but yeah, overall it's, it's a nice fit in there. Let's put this. Hakis the colors. There you have it. Very nice Ponagotchi. Okay, there you have it. Oh, as you can see, this is just really, really easy to do. Just put on some several parts, flash a firmware, and a sd card and configure it using ssh now you have your very own ponacochi so i hope you enjoy this and if you enjoy my other videos please check out my other hacking videos here on hockeysta tv till next time keep on hacking my fellow hockeysta